<coughs> Brothers and sisters, it is indeed great honor to me to speak uh, on world peace through compassion and nonviolence and through my book in English. <laughs> First of all, I would like to thank all the concerned people who arranged this opportunity. <clears throat> now, you come here to listen, uh, to listen, you see, uh, my talk, I think with some expectation. But I'm afraid I have nothing to offer you. <laughs> Except, you see, uh, some of my feeling or my experience to share with you. <clears throat> because I believe, you see, we are the same human being. In spite of culture or religion or race or even if the continent is differences. But these are secondary. Basically, we are the same human being. We are members of one big human family. And our inner experience and it's a desire for happiness and desire for overcome pains and sorrow, that also same. <clears throat> so on that basis, hmm, uh, I, I think we can communicate more easily. So this moment, which let us as a feel we are simply just a human being. The other is a complicated things remain secondary. Leave it aside. <clears throat> then, now, what is the purpose of our life? I believe happiness, joy. That's our purpose of our life. The reason is quite clear. The uh, our, I think, very existence of daily life, I think, based on hope. If someone who completely lost hope, then the very existence become questionable. So therefore, the, I think the, uh, you see, hope, betterment, or better future, better next day, you see, that kind of you see, feeling, I think, lead our whole life. So therefore, the, I think the purpose of our life, we can say happiness. <clears throat> now, I think the time goes, and also the material, I'll say, the development uh, through science and technology, is a much, I think, achievement there. And also, I think, in some way, you see, due to population, uh, and also, of course, the well communication, easier communication. So, see, due to this factor, the world becomes smaller and smaller. Mm. So, therefore, you see, the the nature of interdependent one another become very, I'll say, uh, very clear, very obvious. In ancient time, I think. Uh, village to village, even I think can, uh, I, I mean, without, uh, how to say, interaction, I, I think uh, they can survive. But now today, that situation now gone. Uh, and uh, I think now, you see, crisis of one part of the world. Now, actually, I think the global crisis since, you see, things are so much interrelated. And then, 
Mm. Now here is the main question, the peace, world peace. I believe basic human nature is gentleness. So therefore, you see, war is something actually humanity do not want. However, if you look human history, the war is something part of human history, part of human life. Uh, however, because of much change and um, circumstances, now I think today, the, although the, I think the name or the word war is same, but meaning is much different than the previous war. You see, the war today, due to technology, you see, the destructive power is immense. So, you see, not only the human suffering, you see, the thousands, thousands of human suffering, but also, you see, the, a lot of destruction environment. And also, actually, you see, war is so much expensive. Hmm. You see, we need, you see, everywhere, you see, every people, you see, always, you see, shouting, they, you see, I mean, high prices or in, high inflation, these things. You see, every, I mean, every family, you see, concerned about money. Uh, and I think, in worse, you see, the same one globe, one globe, right? one planet, you see, one site, the people, I mean, well-to-do, and the economy situation comparatively much better. At the same time, the same planet, same human being, same, I mean, same human, uh, no, I mean, same um, member of human family, you see, facing starvation. So under such circumstances, you see, the, uh, the I think, modern war is something really negative. Hmm. So, you see, peace. Now, not, I think, you see, I think desire for peace not come from, what to say, the religious, how to say, uh, what to say, religious, religious belief or something else, but due to, I think, we realize the peace, harmony is something really necessary. So therefore, you see, uh, I think, you see, the, uh, the recent years, the genuine desire for peace, I think everywhere, particularly among, you see, younger generation, you see, that desire is something really, I think, come, you see, comes stronger and stronger. So now, hmm, the question is, how to achieve the genuine peace? The genuine peace is not mere absence of war. I think, you see, genuine peace is something more than that. Now, example is, now in, at least in the European continent, this last, this a few decades, there's some peace there. But that peace, if we look closely, <clears throat> you see, that peace is not genuine peace. Because, you see, that peace comes from out of fear. So, you see, mentally, there, you see, still, you see, very, I say, unhappy. That I noticed. Mm. Now, today, although it's the same, the same, how to say, calm nature. But nowadays, the peace which prevail, prevail, right? no, prevail. Uh, in, in the European continent, now that peace, I think, genuine peace. Because now that peace comes from mutual trust, mutual respect, not out of fear. I think, you see, peace comes from, on the basis of, I think, human understanding the human feeling. So, you see, this peace really become more a fuller, how say, more fuller meaning or genuine peace. So it obviously, you see, it, it, it demonstrated the genuine peace must come through as a human understanding.
not by weapon, not by fear. Uh, therefore, now, the, in order to achieve genuine peace, the peace must come through mental peace. So without inner peace, the genuine world peace is very difficult to achieve. So it is almost impossible, you see, expecting some genuine peace while our inner, I say, inner world remain, I say, the full of hatred, full of anger. So therefore, the the genuine, a proper path to world peace of world peace is the uh, compassion. This I believe. Now, if you have, you see, genuine compassion, the, even, you see, the, uh, towards the person who really, you see, creates problem or creates suffering to you, you see, due to co compassionate mental attitude, even though you realize that the person creates problem, but however, due to the mental how to say it, attitude, you see, they, uh, you find it much easier to deal with that person. So therefore, the compassion is something, I mean, key thing. Now then, what is the, what is the, what is the meaning of compassion? Compassion, not something like, let's say, the feeling of pityness, right? Uh, or something attachment, not that kind. You see, although both both cases there is feeling of the closeness feeling, some kind of this closeness feeling, uh, but compassion is more than that. The not only feeling of closeness, but also you see there is the awareness or the sense of responsibility. So the someone you see who suffer. Uh, so some, someone who are suffering, then the, uh, the feeling that that person also, just like myself, I do not want suffering and want happiness and have every right to be happy, to overcome suffering. So from that awareness or that understanding or realization, then, then you see the feeling of some concern or closeness feeling toward that person with sense of responsibility, that is genuine compassion. <clears throat> so, the, that motivation or that, I think, I say the, that thought, attitude. that attitude, is something I consider something very, very useful. You know, you see, compassion or good heart uh, develop inner strength. Once you develop inner strength, the self-confidence will, let's say, will come or will increase. And fear, I mean, fear will go. So, with self-confidence, and with open-minded, with flexible attitude, with that, the, these, these mental, I think, quality is almost like a guarantee for a better future, for a success future, for a happier future. The other case, fear, you see, lose self-confidence and indecisive and always suspicion, some kind of some negative attitude towards other. You see, under such you see, circumstances, the, then you see the pessimism, or the, the I think some some kind of how to say the, even you see the self hatred, this kind of you see feeling, come. So these are the real ultimate how to say the source of failure. So therefore, the compassion is I consider most precious thing. Whether rich or poor, 
educated or uneducated, or politician, or religious, or professional, no matter. You see, the good heart is, I think, something key thing. Uh, and also, you see, the, if, if the person has compassion, then whole his action become more constructive or positive. If the person do not have this inner quality, then the action become more destructive. Now, for example, say, you see, religion or politics or economy or education or see, the, uh, law or medical field, in every field, even warfare, all these parts of human activities. <clears throat> now, if someone, you see, you, uh, if someone who deal in politics, if the, pol the person, the lack of, how to say, the, hmm, this good human quality, then, you see, that person become more, how to say, unreliable. Or un, how to say they, mm, un, unreliable. Or is it, I mean here you see saying something, doing something different. <laughs> so you say, then through that way, uh, the people usually they call politics is something dirty politics. But actually, you say the politics itself, are nothing wrong itself. Now in religions also, if a person who deal in religion. If that person something lacking, something missing in heart, uh, then religion also becomes dirty religion. You see, uh, instead of provide humanity some how to say the uh, comfort, it creates uh, more trouble. So therefore, you see, every human action, whether become constructive or destructive, much depend on on human how to say heart. Then there is technology and science. Of course, marvelous. You see, nothing wrong itself. Again, now, if, you see, say, now, now for example, I think the technology and science. If we uh, look from the purely the uh, scientific uh, point, of view, point of view, then, you see, those awful weapons, like nuclear weapon or Newton bombs, these things really remarkable achievement. But then, because you see, these, you see, uh, these achievement bring humanity, bring to humanity more fear, more suffering. Therefore, we consider these things negative. So you see, they, uh, on the basis of human feeling, then we judge. Now, this is right, this is wrong. So therefore, the compassion is very important, I would say, very important factor. Then for uh, the health reason also, the good heart, you see, creates mental calmness. You see, mental calmness is very important for good health. So Sometimes it looks, I think, you see, that those people who have it's, I think, contrast experience. It's a few moments, so much excited, so much happy, a joy, excitement. Then, uh, after a few hours or after a few days, it's very low. I think that kind of, you see, too high, too low, you see, or upside down, you see. That kind of thing looks very colorful. Uh, but, 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 uh, but I think, you see, in, in, in real sense, that I think too much is absent, uh, sorry, uh, dist disturb, disturb for, the, for, 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 for its mind. So as a result, you see, eventually health will deteriorate. Therefore, you see, the, from various viewpoints, one's own, how to say, one's own benefit, one's own future success, including one's own health, and an environment, and or comfort of our, how to say, companions is very much related with good heart. Therefore, uh, you see, uh, 
the good heart is something something very very important in i think social life also is very important then for marriage also is very important i think i would like to mention something i think marriage is i think mm, and of course i'm buddhist monk what was it celibate celibate uh, celibate mm. <laughs> however you see the in human community i think marriage is one of the very important as a part of life so you should not take you see should not look marriage is something very easy easily easy way that if you see you without a proper how say thinking or proper how say proper arrangement or proper preparation uh, then the marriage bring as a tr- more trouble you see the divorce doesn't matter all right but i my you see main concern is children is our younger generation our future generation you see here you see many children uh, i think another word you see many people you see who have you see some kind of you see mentally or say psychological problem but these of course there are other factors also there but one major factor is when they are when they were young you see when they are growing you see at that time you see their her experience or her atmosphere you see become the prime prime factor so the parents love parents care to children is i think the most important factor for the happiness of the children or through that way i think healthier and and healthier and happier more harmonious human generation should come that way if we neglect right from the beginning then you see children many children you see uh, due to lack of this affection then all their life spoil and in the society a lot of trouble happen then although you see they Uh, everywhere you see people you see try to uh, solve this problem but because like you see tree or like plant right from the beginning something wrong something lacking then very difficult to i say to to hand to hasore to repair isn't it so it is something something like that you see right from the beginning you see when this when the seedling and the the small hut said they nuku seedling nuku nuku a small shoot no small shoot you see during those moments you see taking proper care then the healthy and good plant come similarly we human being also you see must develop through that way so many current problem uh, not come just yesterday due to many years i say i think lack of care and lack of i think awareness due to that now present crisis happen so therefore you see the uh, good heart you see genuine compassion these things i believe they key factor for better world uh, now about the war my is one i one one has a principal belief is non violence now again here what is the meaning of non violence non violence is mm, there are, i think it's a two level one level non violence simply is a restrain harming harming to other then the deeper meaning of non violence is not mere absence of harming but something positive which is serving helping that's non violence now mm. now because human basic nature is gentleness so non violence method is human way usually i call the violent method is in human way and also the violence i consider something like very strong pill uh, you may you may solve some say, solve some pain 
by that bill. But at the same time, the great side effects. So similarly, violence, sometimes, you see, it looks solve some problem, but uh, very often it creates the longer and the bigger problem. So therefore, hmm, the non-violence is much safer. <laughs> Here, you see, we need... Uh, We need, you see, more patience, more as a determination. Through that way, once you, through nonviolence, once you achieve something, that I consider real, genuine achievement. There's no side effect. So therefore, you see, nonviolence is a really human way. Now here, the, although recent years, you see, on this planet, I think the freedom movement, the democratic movement, on the basis of like popular movement through nonviolence, now become political force, isn't it? Uh, I think these, you see, shows, these indicated that nonviolence is something, something effective, effective method. Now, um, the, you see, like the recent the Gulf crisis, I think it reminds us, uh, you see, the modern war is really terrible. Then, you see, once, you see, there's some crisis, a serious crisis happen, then every people is just rushing uh, and try to solve that. But, you see, to me, it seems, you see, uh, I think due to, I think due to, due to very, I think, what is it, the, uh, I think due to, maybe I think due to the modern life, you see, too much hurry. So I think you may not uh, have, you see, enough time, you see, to think the deeper, you see, deeper cause. You see, this, I, I feel very important, you see, the, the cause and effect, you see, uh, like you see, the Gulf War or invasion, you see, this, uh, I mean, this cause, immediate cause, the Saddam Hussein, and his policy, which is greedy and these things. Then, the further goes, there are many causes. Why, you see, that dictatorship, firstly, you see, how to, how to become a dictatorship, how, how it become how it came, huh? mm. how the dictatorship, dictatorship came into the being in the first place. Mm. And then, you see, all these, you see, the uh, deeper, you see, causes, the previous causes. So here, I think, very clear, the, all the, his military power, you see, developed not only, uh, not by, uh, sorry, not entirely uh, within his own country, but firstly, you see, military equipment come from other countries. And then, then international situation, situation, not situation, international atmosphere, particularly in the, how to say, the political, uh, international, how to say, the relations, relation field. You see, people, uh, I think, very much neglect about the value of truth. The more, very much neglect about moral principle. So, so these, you see, two things combine. Uh, then, you see, dictatorships happen. So therefore, now, I think time has come to think seriously how to reduce military forces. That, I think, is very important. Now. Now already, you see, there are you see, many people, many I mean, leaders, you see, fully committed the, what is it, the uh, nuclear, what is it, disarmament and the reduction of nuclear threat. That's it. Very good. Then, you see, the uh, control or as a minimize the danger of conventional, what's it, uh, of, of warfare. 
Now, so I feel, I think now time has come to think. This is some, something you see, long term plan. First, denuclearize. Then, second, you see, <laughs> elimination of all offensive, you see, weapons. Then, third, <laughs> eventually, you see, the world whole, I think, should be, uh, should be a, de a demilitarized, demilitarized as well. I think, you see, uh, at the beginning, when we, you see, demilitarize, when we stop all these, you see, what's the day, uh, business, military equipment, business, these things, you see, uh, I think at, when, at the beginning, to change, you see, that pattern, then some company uh, or some nation, you see, at the beginning may find some, I think, loose or some, you see, difficult at, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the period of adjustment. Then eventually, I don't think, you see, there are many, I mean, those factories which producing military equipment, I think they can uh, shift or change some other more constructive, you see, mission. <laughs> we have, you see, plenty of problems, you see, the I think what say the water resources and also the the what say the energy energy sorry, energy resource without pollution these things and so many other things there isn't it I think for example you see there are on this planet a lot of desert there what what called desert no. in Sahara desert or Indian continent in in Soviet in China I mean that border area you see, there are a lot of you see deserts there. I think, you see, a lot of places where, you see, our resource, our technology, our many things we can, we can put there, you see, to make it a more productive, productive place, yeah. isn't it? And those, then particularly, the scientists, you see, I, I believe, or to say, I consider the uh, most brilliant, I think, most brilliant Brilliant, no. brilliant human, human, human being. There are, you see, wonderful, fantastic, you see, intelligence for intelligence, you see, using on destructive field. That's a very pity, very sad. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, you see, our very purpose of our life is something benefit, something positive, not negative. Isn't it? Then you see those people who have such a wonderful brain. Now their whole energy put in something destructive. It's very, very sad. Therefore, isn't it? So therefore, mm, you see, I think we need some kind of, you see, the long-term master plan. You see, turning our direction. The, we're complaining. We always complain war and war. We always complain kill, killing these things. Yet we faithfully, you see, follow that direction. It is wrong. War, men, men. War is man-made. Now, solution should come from humanity. You see, there's no one else, you see, how to say, come, come forward with some initiative. Ourselves must, must, must have say, come from the way. Must, must go with initiative. So therefore, mm, uh, I think very, very, uh, I think time is come, you see, to think seriously about, you see, this uh, war mission and military establishment itself. I feel, you see, due to, you see, certain, I think, the human history, uh, I think our very concept towards war is something, I think, wrong. I think we somehow, 
you see, brainwashed. You see, we believe. Sometimes we feel, you see, war is something, another uh, aspect of human art. Then through that way, you see, the individual human being can become a hero, something national hero. Uh, but uh, that, uh, that means see, more killing, more suffering on others. And I think the very concept, ours and theirs, it is not, not good. Isn't it? You see, their body also just exactly the same as ours. You see, they even, you see, because a mosquito comes, they very uncomfortable, isn't it? <laughs> Under such circumstances, how to dare, you see, so much of the destructive, you see, explosive, you see, things put on them. How can? We are the same human being. We are the same human flesh. Isn't it very sad? We are human being. So we can solve problem through, I think, human human communication with patience, with determination. This I feel. So therefore, then at the end of the world, another point. Um, with this, I want to um, say um, to explain something. Uh, now. I think many people feel or oh, demilitarization, complete demilitarization, demilitarization. Is, a sound looks nice, but impractical, firstly, and secondly, and also dangerous. Some may, some may feel like that. For this, mm, I, I feel, you see, like you see the recent crisis. They, because of the circumstances, you see, you need the force of, how to say? Allied. No, force of allied or? Coalition. Kasa. Coalition. Coalition forces. So therefore, you see, we, we have to, I mean, we can manage, you see, to, to set up the collective force, which, you see, all member states, you see, uh, share or contribute equal number of force. Then, you see, controlled by collective commander, commandership. And controlled by, like, you see, the, or say, the international organization, such as US or, um, such as UN or something like that, isn't it? Or first step, as a first step, not whole world, but regional, say, in a European continent. You see, the all member states, you see, contributed uh, one, one force, and then America, northern and southern, you see things like that, in Africa, on Arab, Arabs. So I think we can, if human being, uh, I think, you see, think on deeper way, with more patience, I think we will find some, I think, a proper solution for our future. This I feel, the one thing. Then last, mm, Oh, last, I forgot one thing there. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there, there. Hmm. Karina. <laughs> now, not coming here. All right, doesn't matter. No. So, hmm. Now, although uh, I, mean, I feel they talking such things a little bit, I think, presumptuous, uh, presumptuous, but I feel the millions, millions of people remain in silence, but I think have this kind of feeling. So, mm. Now here, United States, people of United States. From my childhood, you see, we have, ima we have the image of US that 
this country, not only powerful nation, but also is a champion for liberty, freedom, democracy. Uh, so, so I think you, the great nation, I think lead humanity more right direction. This is, I think, on the basis of freedom, personal freedom, liberty, democracy. So this is, I think, your I think, greatest task. This is my hope.